Okay, you're going to take these two bolts out here and then pull the master so it's you can look straight down into the hole that's right here. When the master is up like this, you're going to loosen these two bolts here just a little bit and redirect the lines so they're actually pointing down. When the lines are pointing down and you have this up, you're going to take, there's a C-clip in the top and then there's a plunger, you're going to take the C-clip out and you take the plunger out and then you're going to fill it with um, brake fluid while it's holding up like this. <clears throat> when you fill it up with brake fluid, you sh if all these down here, these nipples, if they're all tight, then you shouldn't have any fluid come out of, uh, you shouldn't have anything draining out of the master unless it's just got low pressure in the lines. So what you're going to do is you're going to loosen this all the way so that you can see the fluid going down through through the cylinder. Um, and then what you're going to do is keep filling it as it's coming out down here until you have a steady, steady flow. And then lock it up. So then you should still have this full. You're going to do the same thing to the passenger side tire next. Loosen up the nipple. Wait for it to you know, start flowing out and as it's draining here you have to make sure that it's uh, flowing out of there at the same time. And then on the uh, back, same thing, this is going to take two people, but you're only going to do the back nipple back here. Okay. Same thing, you're going to let it flow until um, you can't until all the air is out and it's just flowing. And the master will still be full at that point. No, don't ever let it go past this point right here. That's where, once it goes past here, you're going to have air in there. So it should be about halfway. That's as low as it ever goes while you're filling them up. Then what you're going to do, while well, still holding it up here, you put the plunger back in. And it should be hard if there's a lot of pressure. While holding that down, put the C-clip in, and then put these two bolts back in, and then you should have perfect brakes. I'll show you the master real quick. There's the master, there's the C-clip you're going to pull out, and then there's the plunger. So that's what you're going to pull out, and then when it's full, like I say, you don't ever want to go past about this level when you're filling it, because the fluid will just be coming out of these holes. Then, you're going to fill the fluid up all the way to the top, put the plunger back in, it should be hard, and then you'll put the C-clip back in.